Hello again. So here we are in section 1.3 and I'll talk a little bit about course content and requirements. Uh, in the previous section, I hopefully motivated why uh, the, these devices are interesting. I laid out some of the learning objectives and I raised a, a, a thousand questions uh, that hopefully will uh, be addressed uh, throughout this course. So uh, next we'll talk a little bit how we might um, achieve these um, uh, learning objectives on how you will be able to speak the language and what is the flow we take throughout this course. So we'll spend a lot of time trying to uh, understand current flow in these devices. And here's a pictogram of sort of a resistive device with a battery attached and current flows through the device and as electrical engineers we typically may just think of a uh, conductivity um, that uh, uh, relates to a applied voltage and gets you current, but from a more physics-oriented way, uh, we know that electrons are flowing in the other direction, and we want to understand current flow in that context. So we need to talk about charge, we need to talk about its density, we need to talk about the velocity of these charges, and the product of that and the area that they flow through really make up the physical current on these devices. So that's what we want to understand, but we can't just describe this material as a chunk. We need to describe it as a crystal. Uh, maybe it's a nanowire, maybe it's different materials. Uh, we talked about briefly that the shape and strain and composition of these materials really have a strong influence on these devices. So we really need to understand current flow in a more fundamental limit beyond the concept of a conductivity. All right. So we need to understand materials. We need to understand the crystal in nature. Um, we need to go beyond tabulated material properties uh, that are relevant for really large and bulk devices. And we need to have a methodology to describe these materials. So we'll begin to dive into some quantum mechanics and some statistical uh, mechanics as well. And once we have the charge and its density, then we can talk about the velocity, and that's when we get into current and transport, etc., and and really start to get the concept of flow of charge in 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 our head and in our understanding. And then at the end of the course, um, we'll look at devices as well. So um, really to understand uh, the concept of devices. So the first five weeks are really the fundamentals that uh, deal with the materials and, and the, some of the uh, non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. And then the majority of the course deals with these concrete devices, such as diode, uh, BJTs, and MOS devices. All right, so where does this content come from? Professor Alam has created uh, a lot of these slides that I'll be using and for his incarnation of this uh, course at Purdue. Uh, the full course, uh, the 2009 version, is online and some updates are online. Uh, a former student of mine uh, is still working with me. Uh, he helped me in the past when I taught this course and uh, he's uh, continued to be involved with uh, designing some of the assignments. His, his name is uh, Parjat Sengupta and my name is Gerhard Klemek. I've been a prof at Purdue since 2003. Before that, I had a life in the real world. I used to work for NASA JPL for some six years in uh, Southern California. And I worked at Texas Instruments in Dallas for four years in the Central Research uh, um, Department there, Central Research uh, Division. And before that, I actually graduated uh, from Purdue in 1994 on quantum transport, um, what we talk, call nanoelectronics today. Uh, I did publish a few papers um, in devices and, and physics. And uh, the 2012 version of this course is also on NanoHub for you available. And this course is an update to that. And uh, not, as I mentioned, NanoHub, it has a global following. It's a website. I helped to lead that. Uh, we have over 1.6 million uh, users annually on this site. We're seeing uh, in, in 172 countries. And this whole course is uh, in its 2012 version uh, on NanoHub, and here's the link. And um, 
it's one of some 6,000 resources on NAROP. So you'll hopefully find uh, a variety of uh, interesting materials. And throughout this course, we'll be using some simulation tools to, to really highlight the features of these devices and understand the concept of these devices. So um, that really uh, concludes this uh, this introduction of the course, there is more information on, on uh, requirements such as exams, etc., written in, in additional notes. So, thank you very much.